Alright, so now that we've seen this ship in action, let's take a tour and uh, get, get to know some of the nitty gritty details. So you'll see right ahead of us we have an instrument panel, and this is going to show you your vehicle status, your oxygen status, uh, time, speed, and GPS, because why not, power status, and fuel status. To the left we have the mag lock status, and as you can see the ground locks are unlocked. I'll lock them in a second to show you the updates in real time. Um, and the, over here is the damage status so you run into a mountain or something and uh, it'll automatically update. So these are from the configurable automatic LCDs in-game script. Um, and I can't remember uh, who wrote it but all credit goes to him because he's a cool guy. So let's bring up tab and we'll get to see the hot bars here. Now if you notice there's only two tabs. Uh, the first tab controls uh, how you get in and out of the uh, cockpit, uh, some camera views and the airlocks and bar 2 controls the controls 1, 2, and 3. Steering 4 controls the ground lock. Let's change of view here. Right, so the ground lock is that. See the bars go right underneath the wheels right there and lock. 4, 5, and uh, 5, 6, 7 controls uh, 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 going back and forth, controls direction. And 8 and 9 are your mass blacks. Hooray! Alright, so let's release those ground locks and you'll see that it'll update automatically. Hooray, there you go. You don't need to see any more than that. Alright, so say you're going along and you want a better view. Alright, so you're going to go to hot bar 1, click bar 3 and that's going to drop down your, your instrument panel. Click back again, make it go up. If you want a better, completely better view, you can move the seat forward. And it gives you a better view from your feet to see what's going outside the cockpit window. Sweet! Now I've programmed it so that it will automatically turn off 3 and 1 when you're out there so it doesn't so you don't glitch um, and accidentally explode things. So let's hit one, get out of our seat, we'll take a tour and see what's in back. Okay, so as you can see we have our oxygen air vents right there. This controls the lights on the ship. Airlock, this is your little tech room. The tech room gives you uh, indications, pretty much everything that's up there, but if you weren't up there, you could still get all your information for your ship. Power status, vehicle status. Title, access to your cargo, time, date, GPS, um, and a complete inventory. And uh, these button panels I haven't really filled out because I don't know what to put on them. But I thought they looked cool. Of course, we got blinking lights, and the blinking lights are updating our scripts and updating uh, the screens. Excellent. So back here is a storage area. Now this is not um, not at all. Uh, airproof, and that's alright. There's an elevator to get down for immersion, so we're not having to use our jetpack on planets. Behind there is our storage box if you need to place things in storage up there or from outside, which I'll show you in just a second. Alright, so our reactors, we have an ore detector up there and a laser antenna up there. So let's close that door. Not that we need to. Now every time you release the elevator to get out, it's always going to automatically relock. Uh, our ground clamps right here. Now, uh, this ship uses the Move It script to turn the wheels. Now, both the aft and the forward suspension will uh, will turn to help getting a, a tighter turning radius. Um, it works pretty well. Sometimes it bugs out if you turn it too much, so I recommend only hitting one or three, uh, three to four times, and then hitting two to recenter when you're uh, when you're ready to, to center your wheels. Um, so right under here is how you get into the, the storage. I left the conveyors uncovered because I thought it looked cool and industrial. Um, again, here are our wheels. The mass blocks are covered in a little bit of armor to protect that. we got some front spotlights. I used the, the strong, the TVSI uh, reinforced glass, um, although it still breaks if you hit the ground pretty hard. But I think it looks cool. Kind of obstructs the view, but who cares? It's all about fun. Fun! Science! Back we have a connector to connect to our ship. Uh, I'm currently designing a big mothership to uh, land this on a planet. And so you'll be able to just steer it on and off. You have a camera right in back there to help help line it up. Uh, it's right there on the bottom wheel set. All right, so taking a look at the top of the ship. So we got, uh, I think, a pretty nice design. I tried to make everything look pretty smooth. Um, but we have some oxygen farms right there. Our laser antenna. Ore detector right there and a little styling armor set. Sweet. All right, so um, I got the inspiration from this design from a Wasted Spaces video on the rock crawler.
by Terminator Bacon. I thought it was pretty cool and uh, I really liked how the articulating wheels helped it to uh, go up the steep hill as you saw. So um, what I did is I modified one of my previous designs uh, for a planetary rover which is just over the hill uh, right there and you can see there's a similar look with, uh, with a cockpit in the window the mass blocks on the side uh, although this one is not nearly as good at, uh, at going up these steep hills so but perhaps I'll save a review for those for another video